to check on the whereabouts of Wally Ballou, who today has uh, gone up to Connecticut to an antique factory. There to talk with the owner and manufacturer. So come in, please. Wally Ballou. Ballou, here at the antique factory, which seems to be going up full tilt here today as we walk through period furniture of an old and bygone day. Mr. Burton. Fertnall, is that your name? Fertnall, F-E-R-T-N-A-L-L, Fertnall. I've never known a Fertnall before. You're probably the first Fertnall that uh, I've ever uh, come across. Well, there are some other Fertnalls here in town. There are, uh, I don't know, I imagine there are Fertnalls somewhere else in the country, and uh, I would assume they're all relatives. Kind of an antique day, in other words. And, uh, Randolph Fertnall came over here many, many years ago. Uh-huh. About 1911. Tell me this, uh, what are you manufacturing most here today? I don't We're know. making uh, uh, 16th uh, century colonial uh, antiques here now. Old beds, and, uh, old tables and chairs, closets. Uh, That's a television like that. cabinet there, isn't it? What? Is that a television cabinet? That's right, yes. Well, is it uh, authentic antique? or? Yes, uh, not well, it's uh, reproduction. But we won't tell anybody that when we sell In other words, you sell these for the real thing. Oh, sure. Uh, it's awfully hard. We put our own uh, scratches on it, and we wax it. Uh, we wax it. Uh, re -wax we it. wax it, I think. Yes, we do. And uh, we ship them out. How about these wormholes in here? How do you create the, simulate the uh, effect of uh, wormholes in the wood? We use uh, screwdrivers. Uh, we also use little drills. And sometimes if we can find a good termite, we'll put them to work on a piece of wood. Uh-huh. And uh, these pieces, I understand, bring a pretty good price. You yes. A... Oh, yes. Uh, there are, you know, antique fanciers who will pay quite a bit of money for one of these phonies. Uh-huh. And uh, without even knowing that it's not the original piece. No, but they have just as much enjoyment as uh, George Washington had actually sat on the chair. Well, now, uh, for instance, this television cabinet, do you tell people that this goes back to 1600, 1700? No, we don't. We don't mention it at all. Uh, now, has anybody ever raised the point that they didn't have television back then? Yes, but uh, we say that it was, uh, when the uh, older folks used it, it was to keep dishes in or something like that. And we have hired uh, four gentlemen to actually uh, sleep in the bed one night or to sit on the chair or to look in the mirror of some, some such. We have a Benjamin Franklin working for us. We have a George Washington. We have a James Madison. And we have a Roland E. Fleuring. What did you do, buy up goods and Godwin's old file? What do you mean? Uh, the name's the same. That's it. Uh, that's where we got some of those names. Uh -huh. And these fellas, uh, actually, now that you there. take George Washington, he comes up here and he sleeps in the bed. And we can actually say that George Washington slept in that bed. Here we see the actual bed that George Washington slept in. That's right. This George Washington is uh, an 11-year-old kid from Skinneapolis, New York. Here at the Fretnall Antique Factory in Fretnall, Connecticut. It's been a real pleasure to talk to you, sir, and I'm sure we've learned something. I hope so, and it's always a pleasure to have you come by here from your great radio program. I hope so. This is Wally Ballou returning you to Bob and Rick.